Okay, another story that I think is important to note is the fact that a Russian jet intercepted a U.S. Navy plane. This was published just yesterday on CNN.com. So while Don Lemon was discussing Kanye West, there was other news being reported. That's the point of a lot of the videos I'm putting out. Um, there are other things in the world occurring besides Kanye West's long line of mental breakdowns. So let's get started on the video of this article. It says a Russian Su-27 fighter jet performed an unprofessional intercept of a U.S. Navy P-8 surveillance plane while it was flying in international airspace over the Baltic Sea Tuesday, two defense officials told CNN. The Russian jet came within about 20 feet of the U.S. aircraft, adding that the encounter lasted about nine minutes. That was according to one of the officials. The intercept was described by officials as safe but unprofessional. How is it safe when they came within 20 feet? That's not safe. They said it was unprofessional, though a U.S. Navy official told CNN that the Navy does not officially classify aerial encounters that way. So that means they don't document that this happened. So according to the Navy, this didn't happen. <laughs> okay, so that means that this happens a lot or happens quite, it happens more often than you think. You had a Russian, let's go back to the top. A Russian Su-27 fighter jet that intercepted the route of a U.S. Navy P-8 surveillance plane, which means it's got full of cameras and recorders, which may not have the same capabilities as a fighter jet. And they're saying this is unprofessional and normally the Navy does not officially classify aerial encounters this way. So it sounds like these two defense officials kind of blew the whistle on the U.S. Navy. The Navy classifies aviation intercepts simply as either safe or unsafe. So when did we become friends with Russia again? Um, just wondering. I, I just have that question in my mind. When did the U.S., not we, as in, you know, black people, but when did this country become friends with Russia to the point where we can just say, oh, it was unsafe, it was unprofessional, Okay. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander Zach Harrell, a spokesman for U.S. Navy Forces Europe, declined to comment on the specific incident, saying U.S. Navy ships and aircraft routinely interact with military units from other countries. Well, you just said you declined to comment, and then you comment. So you just confirm what I said earlier. This happens more often than we think. He said here, U.S. Navy ships and aircraft routinely interact with military units from other countries. So, yeah. <laughs> this is not normal for them to be so calm about this, but okay. Maybe there's a solution in here. He added that the Navy would provide information on unsafe interactions. The last unsafe intercept of a U.S. Navy aircraft by a Russian jet occurred in January when a Russian Su-27 jet, same type here, flew within five feet of a U.S. Navy EP-3, forcing the Navy plane to fly through its, wet, its jet wash. So it flew this in January within five feet of a U.S. Navy EP-3. This time it flew, what was it? It flew 20 feet, within about 20 feet of the U.S. aircraft. Okay. Forcing, Navy, Navy, forcing the Navy plane to fly through its jet wash. So that's, that's very close. That's dangerously close. They could have been knocked, both, both aircraft could have been knocked out of the sky. The U.S. Navy deemed that intercept unsafe and unprofessional. Okay. I wonder if they had called it unsafe and unprofessional if it was a country like Egypt or Jordan or, I don't know, Sudan. 
Then they say, following that incident, the U.S. State Department issued a statement accusing the Russians of flagrantly violating existing agreements and international law. So it took the State Department to say that the Navy, who was out there day after day, couldn't say that this violates existing agreements and international law. Hmm. And then they said that it's been updated and you can view updates on CNN. So I'm just gonna see if there are any new updates on this story. Um, well, they just made it look nicer. That's, that's about it. Yeah, they just, I don't see anything different except making it look nice. They had another picture. Okay, anyway, that's not important. I'm thinking they updated as in they added new information. Thank you, CNN. That that was not really helpful. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section and what you think about this uh, from a geopolitical international scale when you're dealing with the U.S. and Russia. And I hope to talk to you soon in another video. If you're new to my channel, please go hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell twice and you'll be um, notified when I post new videos or go live. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.